Homework 19, Basic Principles of Hypothesis Testing, Video 4, Stating Hypotheses and Determining the Type of Test, Part 2. Let's take a look at another example of a situation that merits a hypothesis test. And although I erase the directions, we're going to state the hypotheses and determine the type of test. A school claims that 80% of its students receive scholarships. Let's stop there for a second. A school claims 80% of its students receive scholarships. When you write a hypothesis, null or alternative, the first thing you should do is decide what parameter are we making a claim about. And it's going to be one of two. It's going to be mu or p. It's going to be population mean or population proportion. Which one is the sentence making a claim about? They claim 80% of its students receive a scholarship. In other words, they're claiming 80% of its population has a characteristic. This is a proportion. Proportion is synonymous with percent. So they're claiming that 80% of the population has a characteristic. The variable for population proportion is lowercase p, and we'll write it as a decimal. The school is claiming that p equals 0.80. Again, contextually, you should know what P is measuring, although technically it's not necessary. So what would the alternative be? Well, let's look at the second statement. A sample suggests, I have no idea what this word is, suggests the true percent is not 80%. Hmm. What symbol could we put to indicate that the proportion is not 80%? Well, we can't put greater than because it, it could be less than and still be different. And vice versa, we couldn't put less than because it could be greater than and still different. But in other words, this is wrong because it might be less than, which would still be different. And for the same reason, this is wrong because the true percent might be greater than 80 and still be different. So when a suggested alternative hypothesis does not indicate greater than or less than, either contextually or explicitly, you go with not equals. Is not, is not equal to. Maybe that one was a little more transparent. Left tail, right tail, or two tail. If the alternative hypothesis has not equal to, this is a two tail test. Again, determining the type of test is easy once the hypotheses are written. That's why at the beginning of any hypothesis test, if the hypotheses are not given to you, you should carefully write them down and make sure that they're correct before you move forward. Again, writing them down entails uh, two things. Number one, which parameter are we talking about? It's either mu or p. And number two, in the alternative, is the suggested alternative greater than, less than, or not equal to. Sometimes it's implied, sometimes it's explicitly stated.